Hey YouTube Rando here. Today we're going to be doing the unboxing review, uh, unpacking review on the original UCO candle lantern. Uh, I have a few specs on it and we're going to go ahead and see how it operates and then we're going to do an update uh, review after we use it a little bit and put a little bit of use on it and uh, tell you what we think about it after that. Let's go ahead and open it up. My first impressions are it's ultra lightweight. Uh, you know, it's solid aluminum, so I think the candle probably weighs as much as the canister. That's the instructions, and yeah, we'll just set those aside and try to figure it out. Comes with a little hanging hook. Okay, so the instructions were no help at all, but uh, I finally just yanked on this thing and it just pulls up. Uh, you would unscrew the base, of course, to light the candle. And there's a spring in here, so as this candle burns down, the spring pushes the candle up so the wick stays up here. So you would just light it, put it in there like this hang it from something uh, or you could just set it on your desk whatever this says it is for indoor or outdoor use it's not just for outdoor use uh, of course we're using it for a, a tent a little bit of the specs on this thing uh, the candles they sell for it they are uh, I think they're like three of them for four or five dollars they will burn for nine hours uh, and they put off quite a little bit of heat, 1900 BTUs, which isn't real bad, you know. Uh, you throw 1900 BTUs in a small tent, you can sure get the chill out of it pretty quick. And it will put off 20 lumens of light. Uh, it is co completely a collapsible body, so it's compact for transport. Uh, it's a spring-loaded candle, so it again, it shoots up as it's burning. Uh, the height on this thing is 6.5 inches opened, 4.25 inches closed. Uh, it's a two inch diameter. This is the aluminum on aluminum body. They do sell a brass, I believe, brass on aluminum. Uh, and it weighs 8.8 .8 ounces, but this particular model weighs 6.4 ounces. So it's nice and light. Uh, it does have a top reflector. And you can buy all kinds of accessories for it. They sell. Uh, a little part that goes on here that has a little circle it turns it into like a, a flashlight spotlight whatever uh, I don't know how much light it would put off but you know it concentrates the light to one one area so it's not like a lantern it's more like a flashlight uh, they sell a, a case for it you can put a case on it and uh, it's a nice soft case to you know get it jargon around in your backpack you may break this glass right here this is glass uh, but this is replaceable. The glass is replaceable. The spring is replaceable. Uh, I believe the handle is replaceable. They do sell replacement parts for it. So uh, you can pick this whole system up for about 20 bucks, but you can replace most of the parts on it for less than five dollars. So if you if you break, say, the globe on it, it'll run you five dollars to replace. Uh, now UCO does make a smaller version of this. This version is between twenty and twenty-five dollars, depending on where you go. Uh, you may find it a little bit cheaper on eBay, uh, 
but they sell a smaller version for like ten to twelve dollars and it's just about this high and it just uses these kinds of candles so you don't have to buy the special candles for from UCO uh, which I think we can use dollar store candles in there as well and they're six hour candles and uh, I think there's four or five of them in a pack, maybe six, it might be a six pack for a dollar. So I think we're going to try to use those and just see what they do because uh, I surely don't want to pay five dollars for three of these if I can get four or five or six for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. Uh, so yeah, we're going to put this thing to some use. We're going to get some time on it and we're going to be doing update reviews for it. It's nice and compact. You see that would fit nicely in a camping pack, bug out bag, whatever. Uh, and it's not only a light, it's a little heater, you know. Uh, 1900 BTUs may not sound like a lot, but uh, I'm telling you, if you put it in a small area, say the inside of a car, you broke down on the side of the road, uh, put it on the inside, you know, a little S10 or something, or just single cab vehicle, this thing would take the chill out of it enough to to make you you know somewhat comfortable uh, so but we're definitely gonna put that to the test too we're gonna wait till a good you know uh, camping trip and we're gonna go out and take it with us and see if we can't warm up the tent a little bit on a you know 50 degree night 40 degree night uh, dang sure wouldn't want to use it on a freezing night but we're gonna try it out and you know put it to the test see if it does warm up the tent a little bit uh, and before we got this, this is this is what we used indoors for candles, uh, just these little pills. And then for outdoors, we used two liter Coke bottles and cut the tops of them off and stuck the candle in there and ran some string. And uh, I actually did a video on that the other day. So we're gonna test it out, see what it'll do. We'll be back with a update review, uh, maybe some field test video, something like that. Show how bright it gets, whatever. Uh, so be looking out for those videos. Thanks for watching YouTube.